how to make one of the uh, mini hand cutters. Um, this is probably going to be much easier for you guys that uh, you know just want to shape uh, maybe little small hills or um, I don't know maybe buildings or you know that kind of thing. So um, you know we'll hop right into it. I'm not really covering anything new. I mean if you watch the other couple of videos. Uh, you should be able to figure this out on your own, but uh, if not, no big deal. I mean, that's what we're doing the walkthrough. Uh, feel free to pop over to the device section um, of the web page, or at least website for that matter. I have all the uh, structural diagrams, electrical diagrams, um, you know, supply lists, and that kind of stuff. So um, everything should be there, and let's hop right into it. So to start us off, uh, what we'll need is our one and a half inch. 10-24 uh, uh, stove bolt uh, where 10 has to do with the internal diameter uh, and 24 has to do with the spacing of the threads uh, to make sure all of our nuts and bolts everything match up. You'll need 10 of the number 10 washers. You'll need four 10-24 nuts. You'll need four of the 10-24 wing nuts a crimp on uh, wire connector, um, two of those, a figure of eight ring, and a spring. Uh, what I started to do was, is I actually been cutting these springs in half, um, but what you're looking for is the kind of spring that snaps back uh, into its original shape, not the kind that compress. So this is the kind that kind of holds a door shut. Uh, you don't want the kind that compress like a uh, mattress spring. Uh, these are the uh, crimp on, uh, one male, one female, uh, crimp on uh, bullets, snap connectors. You'll need uh, three of the uh, eight inch length uh, schedule uh, 40 PVC pieces. I have two of the uh, schedule 40. These are about uh, three and a half inches or so. You'll need uh, two L brackets, one of the uh, T port type connector, three caps, a uh, length of wire. The uh, purple primer and cement uh, for uh, PVC. And uh, other miscellaneous tools like uh, pliers and that kind of stuff. And uh, not to forget our nichrome wire. When you're doing your, your PVC pieces, uh, just remember that you want to prime with the purple first. Uh, this kind of softens up the plastic just a little bit uh, and then to follow it up with the PVC cement. Um, once you got everything set, I'd probably say, um, I don't know, since I've been doing these, uh, they'll probably set up within about a minute or so. I mean, you can still kind of move them, but 30 seconds I would say is about it. Five minutes is a good seal. Um, you know, so uh, just make sure you measure twice and cut once. One of the things I like to do first, um, you know, is just take our, our wire uh, and separate the two strands a little bit. Um, you know, that way we can feed it through, um, you know, our PVC pieces as we're sort of assembling it. Um, <clears throat> that way we don't get hung up in any of the uh, kinks or other areas or anything like that. So, um, first step is to strip the wire. The next step with this mini cutter um, is that you want to take one of your uh, end caps here because uh, this is going to start to be the, the base of the actual cutter itself um, and just drill a hole straight through the center. Uh, that's what you're going to be feeding your wire through. Now that you have that drilled out, uh, just go ahead and feed your wires through the bottom. And then uh, you can just kind of start building from here. I mean, follow along on that diagram. Um, really all I'm going to be doing is, is just, uh, you know, priming and sealing these next couple of parts. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing, but uh, here we go.
So, I mean, that was pretty easy. Um, you know, even in some of the dimensions that I made, uh, you know, this is actually even already still looking too big. Um, you know, I had actually about three and a half inches, I think, for this piece. Um, but you guys, I mean, you can cut it back to about two inches or something like that and bring these just a little bit closer together. But um, it's really up to you. I mean, you can have this, you know, pretty much any size that you want. Um, you know, but this is just a little bit easier. So, um, you know, that's at least as far as a structural component goes. Uh, one thing that I didn't show in the last video was this, um, this cap right here on the bottom. I had actually just filled up with normal, uh, like, caulk, you know, like around tubbing and stuff. Um, I just think it, it helps, you know, this wire from getting pulled out, um, you know, or at least pulling on the back side of your, um, you know, wire, your, your crimp on wire connectors. Um, so, uh, you know, that's at least it for the structural component. Um, you know, we'll just follow through on uh, getting the rest of the uh, electrical components done, uh, but we're, we're moving along pretty good here. So uh, sit tight for the next part.